How does Donald Trump and how have Republicans for the last 40 years gotten working class people to vote against their own economic self-interest? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And welcome back. Uh, is it Isaiah or Isia in Orange County, California? Oh, Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah. That's right. Hey, Isaiah, what's up? Hey, Tom. Good to hear from you. I want to thank you for uh, taking my call. Uh, my question was in regards to the uh, the white working class. Um, why is it that they overwhelmingly you know, vote against their own economic interests? Like, I have a really hard time wrapping my head around that because, I mean, you remember Obama's tax plans. He said, I'm not going to raise taxes on anybody making over 250000 and then now here, Biden is saying, I'm not going to raise taxes on people making over 400000 I mean, to me, it, it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, who's really in favor of, like, the working class, regardless of what your skin color is? And for some reason, right. I just can't understand why is it that they're over, well, they were overwhelmingly for Trump in 16. They're saying now that Biden is e eating into that. But still, Trump is projected to win whites without a college degree by a pretty, you know, healthy margin. I'm, I'm wondering why is it you think that is? Or at least white men. Um, because one of the one of the real propaganda victories of the of the Republican Party over the last 40 years has been to redefine uh, the understanding, the average person's understanding of economics. Um, you know, you can get try to get into a conversation with one of these people about, you know, why unions are important and they'll just, you know, yell at you about union bosses, uh, you know, or, you know, why why uh, Trump's taxation policies aren't benefiting them, things like that. The main the main message that has been communicated to white middle class, working class voters over the last 40 years, first by Reagan when you know, when he started his campaign with his whole thing about um, he had two two little speeches that he was giving in the 1980 election. One was about the the uh, welfare queen who drove a pink Cadillac and had a hundred different social security accounts. She literally did not exist. He just made it. He or or Lee Atwater, somebody made this up out of whole cloth. And then the second story that Reagan used to tell was, um, you know, he would say, how do you feel? Sometimes he would tell it as if it happened, and other times he would ask it as a rhetorical question. How do you feel when you're standing in line at the supermarket and some young buck, which of course means a young black man, um, is standing in front of you with uh, a whole bunch of uh, steak and beer and paying for it with food stamps? And so the message that the Republicans have very effectively planted in the brains of white working class people across this country is that black people are freeloaders and brown people, Hispanics, are stealing your jobs. Now, prior to the 1980s, they were saying black people are stealing your jobs. Um, you know, they pretty much stopped saying that and went with the black people are lazy and they're, and they're just going to have riots um, with the Reagan administration. That became kind of the official message of Republicans during the Reagan administration. And, 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 and it's brown people who want to steal your jobs. But that, you know, that, that is what they, that's how they summarize the whole thing. And, and, then, and then the famous thing that, uh, that uh, Republican voters love to say is, you know, I never saw a per poor person give somebody a job, which is a complete distortion, you know, of, of reality. I mean, I never, I never saw a rich person get rich without the labor of people who work for them, <laughs> you, know, it's just, you know, in any kind of business context. So uh, that's what's going on. That's how the Republicans have hyper-simplified it, and that's how they get away with this, of getting people to vote against their own economic self-interest.